Hey guys, I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. Today we're gonna to talk about overtraining and one simple test that you can do to see if you are overtraining. But before we get into the exact test and how to do it, we are gonna talk a little bit about training in general and why you are training. But the number one goal of you training is so that you can get better, so that you can get stronger and so that you can get fitter. And if you're training and you're getting stronger and you can do 10 reps and now you could do 12 reps and now you could do 15 reps of the same weight, you're obviously getting stronger. But if you're getting 10 reps and now you're getting nine or eight or six and you're not getting to the level that you need to be, then you're probably getting not weaker, but you're possibly overtraining in the acute phase. So if you're doing a 30, 60 or 90 day hard program, that's the acute phase. You're not gonna start developing typically uh, over training symptoms like flu, illness, respiratory infections till at least 60 to 90 days, possibly more. So from 90 days over, it's usually more in the acute phase. From more than 90 days, it's usually a little bit more of a chronic stressor. And the reason you would normally have these muscles fatigue is because you have too much neurologic input and the nervous system kind of controls everything and if you're taxing the nervous system, you're not resting it, you're not eating right, your supplements off, you're not doing what you need to do to help yourself recover, you're overdoing it, you're doing two times a day, five days a week, and you're doing Saturday and Sunday, and you're not sleeping well, then you can possibly see why you are getting weaker or why you're not getting the stimulus or the results that you need. You may be losing weight, but you're probably not getting stronger and stuff like that. So. One test that you can do, and this is what I would recommend for you guys, is to have a baseline. So before you begin your program, before you dive into the 30, 60, or 90 day heavy lifting intensity, you gotta get a baseline. And that baseline is going to help determine where you're at and where you may be if you are overtraining. So the baseline is essentially you're gonna take dumbbells or you're going to take a barbell or a hand grip dynamometer, whatever you have. You Most people don't have these hand grip strengths to tell you exactly what it is, but you're gonna test your grip strength. So for example, most things that people will have access to are the dumbbells or the barbells. So if you have a barbell, you're gonna hold it down at your side and you're gonna put 45 pounds on each side if you're strong enough to do that. If not, put 25s, whatever you need to do for you, right? You're gonna hold that for it, as long as you can, before you start shaking and then eventually drop the drop it. So let's just say that you fail or you drop it at 60 seconds, right? So now you have an idea of, I can hold 135 pounds on a dumbbell bar or barbell for 60 seconds. You can do that weekly to really get, to see if you're within that range. Uh, but that, but that's really what I would start with is just say, okay, I can hold this for about 60 seconds. And if you're constantly training and you're doing it healthy, in theory, right, you should be getting stronger. You should be holding that for 62 seconds, 66 seconds, 70 seconds. Maybe you're getting up higher to 80 seconds, 90 seconds. And if you start to get weaker consistently and you're at like 40 seconds, 45 seconds, 50 seconds, and, and you see you see that kind of going down, then you are obviously not heading in the right direction because you're training, you're supposed to be getting stronger, you're overtaxing your muscles, you're overtaxing the neurologic system, and as a result of that, guys, you are getting overtrained in the acute phases. Now, again, you're not gonna have these chronic illnesses for at least 90 days usually, but that will give you a baseline. And if you have that baseline, you can then determine, you know, on a monthly basis, or maybe every two months, whatever you guys decide that, hey, I can hold 135 pounds for 60 seconds. And every month I'm gonna test that and you should get off to maybe, you know, 62 seconds. So you should be seeing that go up or at least stay the same. And if you're going down and you're getting less reps, you're more fatigued, you're not getting the sleep, you could probably estimate that you're acutely overtraining. So this is a great exercise, a great test to see if you are overtraining, guys. Definitely would recommend it and definitely be consistent with the same weight and do it before you start. I really can't stress that enough. Do it before you start. All right, guys. I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.